When I set out to do this video, I was using an app that controlled the camera and fortunately the app crashed and the camera stopped without me realising so this video picks up after I realised that the camera had stopped and I'd restarted it. So I've got a little bit of a shape happening, a little bit of a few tear outs which I'm not terribly happy with. Um, and I was starting to get a little bit of vibration through the job because of the fact that I'm getting down to thin sections. Um, so now I'm going to try and tidy this up a little bit with a scraper and maybe a skew chisel. Skew chisels aren't my favourite. Tend to not have a lot of success with a skew chisel, but let's give it a go. Try the scraper first. Still got one little tear out here, I might have to just drop that bit down a little. Well, that's what happens, doesn't it? You get too cocky, too close. I've actually still got the shape I want, so it's still, it hasn't snapped exactly where I want it. But I'm not going to be able to get the polish happening on it, so that's mildly annoying and disappointing. But turning's like that. Um, you got to take what you get. I think I could probably still get this sanded somehow. 
I'm going to give it a go. Well, I've managed to get it into here somehow. Um, I've got a small split here, but I'm going to see if I can work around that. Fingers crossed this stays on. This seems to be burnishing up the timber or whether it's leaving something on it from the pine or whatever before. Starting to get a little bit of a tone to it. I'm going to move down to my, my 320. Give that a try. See if I can get some smooth sanding happening. work a lot. Time for a bit of burnishing. We've got a little bit of shavings I've got sitting around. Get these pine ones out of it. Some people get afraid of doing this process because there's nothing between your hands and the job apart from some shaving. I quite like it. It's just one of those, those things that's the science of the process that you can get your and I finish by rubbing your, your scrap against your job. The method I've used to hold this in place is appearing to work for me. I'm not putting as much pressure on it as I might have in the past. Like that. Okay. What I'm applying is um, a bit of tongue oil that has been sitting out for a bit so it's that it started to cure itself in the jar so it's a little bit more of a <laughs> tongue goop rather than a tongue oil but being that I've just sanded this and it's nice and warm it should be alright I'll just wipe off a little bit of the excess before I go turning it on and watching it flick all over the place.
quite nice. Just give it a little bit more buff, get a cleaner rag. Now just to finish off with a bit of furniture work. That's getting quite a nice shine for that. That's nice. Yeah, that's come up quite good. All it's need now, I need to put a little a hole for my hanging wire. I'll get a drill. Always a little bit dicey doing that, a little bit frightening um, and for those of you who have stuck around and wondered how did I get this back on a small hole here and thankfully I've got one of these tail stocks that has a rotating point and at the other end actually just jammed a nail into this end piece, snipped off the end, put a small hole in the bottom of the job piece, pushed it forward and just used the pressure of the the lathe ends to keep it together and I wasn't sh wasn't actually sure that it would work but being that the job was so small I was hoping it would and it has so uh, that's quite a nice little Christmas decoration handmade that'll be going on our tree at home. Hope you enjoyed that. I did. Thanks. <laughs>